If you buy the That's locust no, no. for station cash, will you get it for all factions? Like, no. no. Hello, this is Matthias, and uh, the new ESF update is uh, live. And I decided to, the first weapon I wanted to try out was this locust cannon. It is a, a new nose gun. It's supposed to be a bit of an all round gun that, um, yeah, we believe it's introduced to help uh, newer pilots who uh, haven't really fine tuned their aim and their control with their ESFs yet. I'm not entirely sure of the purpose of this weapon, to be perfectly honest. And rather than looking through statistics and data and some such, I decided to try it out right away. The reason why I went for this nose gun was mainly because I wanted to try out a new weapon at the same time as I wanted to try out the new upgradable afterburners. Yeah. So now being that the locust cannon has such a big magazine size by default, I decided to actually go for with the reload speed. Now for any of you guys who haven't decided whether or not you're gonna get this weapon, I say don't. It's just not a good weapon. It's a thousand certs or 700 station cash cost weapon and uh, you are much better off spending that um, s those resources elsewhere. And the thing is that we all understand uh, SOE's attentions of trying to make air gameplay accessible for more players but it seems to me that uh, many of the changes as we do they are hurting the air game more than it's helping because you have to consider also if you make people believe that buying new weapons is going to make you a more experienced uh, pilot, then you're just fooling people. And uh, most of the air to air gameplay is uh, similar to what you see here. One guy is chasing an ESF, that is chasing an ESF, that is crashing into an ESF. Stuff like that. And again, SOE just had to make changes to the vertical thrust using afterburner, also called the reverse maneuver. Now, this is mostly going to have an impact on the high skilled air to air gameplay. It's not gonna make any changes to the lesser skilled players at all. So basically this creates a lot of irritation among the uh, top A's and most experienced pilots. And it also makes it a lot harder for some of the pilots that are actually doing what SOE really wants people to do who are practicing their air-to-air -air gameplay and who are actually starting to learn how to use the reverse maneuver in their air-to-air -air combat. Now it's not that effective anymore and a lot of that experience has gone to waste. Anyway, the big advantage of the Locust Cannon is of course the high amount of ammo you have and like I said earlier, the big magazine. Fully upgraded, it's almost like you can just spam this weapon for as long as you fly. But what I don't understand with uh, why they make believe that this is supposed to make it easier for newer pilots is that one of the hardest things in air-to-air -air combat is to maintain your aim on your target and uh, assuming this actually is a weapon that is uh, supposed to help newer players it is quite expensive and it has very little benefits compared to the default gun of course that's what <laughs> pilots want so yeah it's a skill based after all so can't let that slide Flying, flying, flying. Now one of the big concerns for the new ESF update came of course from tankers. There's been a few quite active threads on the forum about how overpowered the new air-to-ground missiles are. So uh, I was a little bit concerned when I spawned my uh, prowlers. I think the uh, Hornet missiles, as they are called, actually got nerfed before they came to the live server. Uh, some of my friends in Bling have used them and they have gotten a few kills with them. As long as you stay out of combat, you can actually deal some significant damage with them. I haven't tried them out myself and I have never been hit by them either. So now there are some different opinions about how much uh, these uh, 1 vs 1 duels actually have an impact on the air gameplay, how often it happens, and uh, some people say it's almost never existent, some people say it happens quite a lot, and uh, whether or not you are good or bad at this, how much does it actually help the air gameplay even in non 1 vs 1 situations. This is debated quite a bit, and um, we think that the introduction of the Locust Cannon has uh, some uh, something to do with that. We also think that, of course, the nerf to the reverse maneuver as it's now consuming more afterburner, not allowing us to use it as much, uh, is the result of SOE believing that uh, the whole thing about the reverse maneuver and su such 
uh, makes it uh, too hard for newer players compared to more high skilled players. I will in the future come up with at least one more video when I uh, give my feedback and my suggestions to what SOE actually can do to help uh, new players get into air to air combat. I have said most of it before, but uh, due to some of my activity in the balance discussions the last couple of weeks, I think there's a lot of players that have actually missed the more constructive feedback that I have tried to reach out to SOE with. Hopefully you guys can uh, help out with this as soon as I get this going. No, it sucks completely. Don't buy it. The locust cannon, that is. I know, I know. I, I just wanted your, your opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't buy it. Know. Don't buy it. It's so now, had this gun been more interesting and a better choice than it is, I would have probably compared it to like the rotary hailstorm and to the default guns. But uh, as of now, I see no point for it. Maybe there actually are some other YouTubers who will cover it, uh, maybe Rel, Ginger or Hader. And I also highly recommend Youngblood. Now the reason why I got it was because I had the certs and I wanted to check it out. But uh, it's not a weapon I'm going to focus on. I'm going to go back to ne the Needler and uh, if some of you guys want to see me farm a bit with the Banshee, I might actually upload a video or two of that as well. So now how the uh, Locust Cannon compares to the similar guns that you have on the Vanu and the NC side, I really don't know. I think they are quite similar actually, but um, they are not very popular. So now I did of course also want to check out how this weapon does in air to ground situations. Now here I had quite a number of problems. The server has been quite laggy after the update. It is the same old irritating freeze lags that keeps uh, coming back and a lot of crashes has occurred as well. Now when it comes to the crashes I don't really know when or where it happens mostly but when it comes to the free slags it is worse the closer you are to the ground and the more close you get to higher populated areas. Now when it comes to using it against infantry the big problem here is that you have to get so close to it that you are in those areas where you get a lot of lags. You are also very close to where they can shoot you down and uh, where anti-air is extremely effective. And situations like this is not something I'm going to be able to give you a lot of on my channel unfortunately. Now you can of course pick off uh, infantry players with this gun just like with any other gun but it's not very good at it. And like, uh, like I said before, it doesn't deal damage fast, so you have to maintain your aim on the target for quite a period of time. And that is what makes it harder for less experienced pilots, and that is also what makes it extremely risky. Anyway, the air-to-air -air gameplay of this video almost turned into a ganking video, which is uh, pretty much what uh, a lot of the air-to-air -air gameplay has become. And now there are many reasons for it. Now, most pilots will fly over friendly territory where they have support of anti-air, lock-ons and uh, just the ground troops generally. And for me who uh, prefer to fly in hostile territory, I have to fly high in order to avoid all that. Which is part of the reasons why you want to kill your opponent as fast as possible. And which again is part of the reasons why the Locust Cannon is not all that good. Do you never have uh, What? Don't you have exams? No, never. Why would I? What? <laughs> I thought you were studying computer science or something. Of course I do. But 
But why would they be now? That might end them. Because here in uh, Belgium, all universities and high schools are uh, like having camps right now. We just started the new. Well, maybe they have a new period. Or something, but they would generally have them later on in the year, May, June. Or so pretty much every country I've ever heard of. What? We've got like multiple exams. So yeah, while the rest of the Bling members are talking about irrelevant stuff like schoolwork and studies and shit like that, I was actually trying to do something for the Empire here. I'm actually trying to fight for the Terran Republic. So yeah, Spicy and Becky, if your parents knew that you were talking about schoolwork rather than taking your responsibility in Planetside 2, they would be really angry right now. Anyway, thank you all for watching and bye for now. I sometimes use the proxy chat, so... What do you say then? Fucking no, why you're me? <laughs> <laughs> exactly.